Grim Fortress 2019 has been out for quite a while now and I figured since I suppose it's kind of one of those things that we do here, I would make a video detailing my favourite cosmetic sets and loadouts as inspired by this year's Scream Fortress haul from the Spooky Spoils Cosmetics case. Each one of these cosmetic sets must contain at least one of the newly added cosmetics, then all the others in the set may be from any other update, Scream Fortress or other. A quick set of disclaimers before we begin here, all the cosmetic choices are indeed subjective to my opinion and biases, and if yours differ, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below exactly what and how you would change it, as it is quite interesting to read. And secondly, this may appear as a top 8, but fear not, as there will be two bonus cursed cosmetic sets at the end, so stay tuned for those. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now to kick things off in 8th place, we have the Remorseless Raptor, the Ticket Boy, and the Wild Whip. Now this, I do believe, is quite a nice set, especially if you can get your hands on some paint for the Remorseless Raptor or the Wild Whip. There's some quite nice gradients and the stripes, it all just blends really well. The Ticket Boy I put in with this Raptor set because it reminds me of the sort of like Jurassic Park series where, you know, the workers at the parks and whatever would always get eaten by the Raptors. I don't know, that's just what I thought of when making this. It's quite a nice set and the Remorseless Raptor and Wild Whip are uh, some fairly nice cosmetics that go together really well for the Scout. Now next up we have the compulsory Mexican Pyro set and it consists this time of the Skullbrero, the Head of the Dead and as always the El Muchacho. Now Jokes of the Pyro having about a million different combinations of this style of set aside, it is quite a nice addition. I reckon the Head of the Dead is the best section of this cosmetic set, as it is really the newest item they've added out of the two. Now the Skullbrera is quite nice and it is really just a wider flamboyant flamenco without the little things hang dangling off, but it's a really nice cosmetic and they both go really really nicely together, with the Head of the Dead also having a couple of other styles for some added customization. Now in 6th place we have yet another Scout cosmetic set, and this is my more favourite of the two. This contains the Air Dog, the Fuel Injector, and the Delinquent's Down Vest. Now, obviously, the look I'm going for here is that sort of fighter pilot, and there are a couple of different cosmetics you could change around to create this image with the Fuel Injector. It's quite the nice Scout cosmetic, and it's a really nice misc that goes with multiple different other hats. Now, I reckon these ones go the best because the Air Dog, I mean, like, it, it's just my favourite out of all of them. And the goggles clip really well with the fuel injector. And the Delinquent's Down Vest is one of the better pilot-styled misks for Scout because, as I'm sure many of you know, when you get into a plane, it is quite cold, so you're going to need a bit of a vest to keep yourself warm. Now in 5th place we actually have an Engineer cosmetic set and this one is going to be based around the El Mustacho. Now the El Mustacho I do believe is one of the better additions to Engineer's Sheriff style cosmetic entourage and it will be accompanied by the Wild West waistcoat and any other misc of your choice actually. The moustache on the El Mustacho actually means that it doesn't necessarily require another facial cosmetic however you can add one if you want. I've put here the Winter Backup because I think it goes quite well, that sort of toolkit for the Sheriff in case you get stuck out in the wild west or something i don't know but yeah you could pretty much pair this with anything it's just those two cosmetics to get that really texan sheriff style look now in fourth place we have a medic cosmetic set that could be taken different ways now we'll start off with what i have listed here that is the guten guten the madman's muzzle and the derangement garments now obviously the madman's muzzle and derangement garment came together in a set from the workshop and I think the Guten Kutaharen complement them quite well. You see, as one of the major traits of a sociopath is being extremely charming. So instead of using a cosmetic such as the Madden Doctor or some crazy hairdo, I think using a cosmetic like this almost makes it more eerie and more creepy. I don't know, just my two cents on the matter. In third place, we have the new and improved Soldier Cosmetic set. I don't know why I said improved. But it is definitely new, and it consists of the El Zapateador, the Mistaken Movember, and the Party Poncho. I've actually been using this one quite a bit, mostly because I got a strange El Zapateador. Would be nice to get an unusual one. Anyway, um, I'm, I've been using this one quite a bit, and I think it's really nice because Soldier doesn't really have too many of that sort of Mexican Texan style cosmetics, and I think it's quite a nice new sort of cosmetic style for the Soldier, which I think is pretty cool, and it's always nice to see new things added in updates. Now, in the runner up position here, we have the Crazy Demo Man. 
as if he wasn't crazy enough already. And this consists of the Manhattan Project, Binoculus, and the Blast Blocker. Now, I think these three cosmetics go really well together, but the Binoculus makes it a kind of cursed loadout because Demoman's only meant to have one eye. But <laughs> the way it goes with the Manhattan Project and the Blast Blocker, I think, creates a really sort of nice, sort of explosion proof, exploding Demoman kind of thing. I don't know, it just looks kind of cool together. Finally, with regards to the non-cursed cosmetics, in first place we have a spy cosmetic set, and that consists of the Voodoo Visor, the Backstabber's Boomslang, and the Showstopper. I really like how these go together. The Voodoo Visor is a really, really cool cosmetic, and the way it just it just blends with the Showstopper and the Backstabber's Bloom Slang, Boom Slang is really just amazing. I really like how the snake sort of goes with the Showstopper, it almost makes like a sort of snake charmer showman kind of thing. I don't know, that's just my opinion on it, but either way, it is a really, really cool cosmetic set, and just the cosmetics gel really, really nicely with each other. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, for this next section, I will provide a full viewer discretion warning. Some of these cosmetics are so ghastly that once seen, they cannot be unseen. Consider yourself warned. Cursed sets that is first. Yoda, it is. Del in a shell, binoculus, and Vox Diabolus, it consists of. Many cursed loadouts with binoculus there is. Paint it green, you must. Now, in all seriousness, it's a green painted Vox Diabolus binoculus and Delano shell. It's it's pretty fucking cursed. The binoculus man, oh this shit, ooh, should never have been added. It's 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 broken TF2 cosmetics. It's just it's completely gone. Say goodbye to what you once thought was rational and normal. The binoculus is here to stay. Jesus once said that man cannot live off of bread alone, but I beg to differ. Here we have the breadheads, the binoculars, the breadbiter, and the breadbite. You can only do this on heavy in order to achieve maximum breadiness, because you need the breadbite. Um, like, what's, what's the point of just having it on your head when you can have it on your hands as well, and it's obnoxiously large too. This, this, this cosmetic set, it, it's just fucked. There's no other way of describing it, it's just fucked. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is my take on this year's Scream Fortress cosmetics and how they fit into cosmetic sets. If you did like the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like, maybe a nice comment, maybe even subscribing. But for now, I hope you all have a very spooky remainder of your Halloween season, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.